Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. I'm Gary and I'm your host today. What I like to do is every time I find an unusual squash, I like to make a little video about it. There's a lot of squash recipes on this channel. Anyway, this one is called Delicata Squash. What we're going to do that's different in this one is we're going to put in some kumquat sauce on top of it and we're going to cook it in our new air fryer. Also, what I'm doing is I'm also cooking a kombucha squash. I'll be cooking that in the oven and it'll be the same thing. I'll also be applying to that the kumquat dressing on top of it. It gives it a nice citrus flavor and kombucha by itself is just amazing. Come and see how I put together this video. See you in a bit. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. Ingredients. One large delicata squash, one third cup of diced kumquats. In your air fryer, set at 400 degrees for 16 minutes, salt to taste. One medium kabacha squash, half a cup of diced kumquats. Place the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Each cup of delicata squash also contains 126 calories, 21 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams protein, 5 grams fat, and 6 grams fiber. It also contains iron, potassium, magnesium, copper, manganese, vitamin A, vitamin C, thiamine, that's vitamin B1, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, vitamin B9, vitamin K, lutein, and zeatin, omega-3 fat acids. I weigh 190 pounds right now. I've lost a total of over 40 pounds. And if you really think about it, it's really more than 40 pounds because I would gain some and I would lose some. I would gain some and I would lose some. And during Christmas time, I gained quite a bit and I lost it all and came back way below the starting that I'd done four years ago as a new vegan. Now I weigh the same weight as I did when I met Linda 43 years ago. It's taken me all my life to find a diet that works and a maintenance plan that can keep me slim and trim. But that's not it. That's not the end of the journey. The journey will also be a continuing maintenance program that I will be showing. Always something new on healthy vegan living. Now what I've done here is I've cut up the kombucha squash. It's just that this is part of the food I'm preparing for the week for the starch solution diet that I'm still on. Now for the delicata, of course, you peel off these stupid labels they put on. And I'm going to slice this in, in into sections and put it in the air fryer that's over here on, on my right. Okay, so that's the next step. Now what I'm doing is adding some kumquats. They look like this. They're small, they're like a very small, very, very tart orange. And what I'm doing is I'm adding it on top of the squash I'm cooking. I'll be doing the same thing for the delicata. But this gives it such a magnificent flavor. Now what I do is I don't take the seeds out and I leave in the skin, which is the only sweet part of this fruit, and I chop everything together. Now if you have diverticulitis or you have problem with seeds, after you've cooked the kumquats on top of your squash, just scrape it off. The flavor will have already introduced itself into, in this case, the kombucha squash. You can also see something similar in the, in the delicata when I do that. This is about 50 kumquats and with a little bit of filtered water. Set your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes and my timer is over here so I'm going to show you that right now so you can probably see that now take your 
formula, which is basically all kumquats, and just pour it like on top like that. Doesn't matter if it overflows. Now for this meal, I decided not to put any seasoning, just a kumquat. And I'm using a brush to paint the sides. Now, if you don't have kumquats, you could use marmalade. Don't have marmalade, you could use orange. You can use anything that's citrus lime. You could even probably get away with putting in some lemons. But I'm blessed with friends who give me their kumquats, and this is what I do with it. I cook with it. Okay. So, watch it as I put it in the oven. Now it's hot, so be careful. And that's it. So we'll see in a little bit. We're gonna start working on the actual video, which is the del delicata squash in the air fry oven. Okay, so now that we have this, we're gonna start cutting up the squash. Four hundred degrees. Okay, now it's all set up. All right, so we'll see in a little bit. So I could smell it. I could smell it actually being cooked. So I pulled out the first tray, and you can tell that it looks like it's slightly burnt. This is the thickest part, so I think it's ready. Yeah, it goes through the fork easily. Let's see how much time there is left. 16 minutes left, and we're gonna turn it off. Of course, we're gonna let it cool, but now we have it off. I'm gonna turn off the power supply, and then I'm gonna plate it and show you how I'm gonna eat it. Now I'm saving this for the night, but I'm gonna take some, ooh, that's pretty hot, okay. So I'm gonna take it off the trays. I'm gonna use the more cooked ones. 
And I think a lot of this stuff is trial by error. 400 degrees might have been too hot, maybe 350 degrees next time. So those delicatas have no salt, no seasoning. All they have is the kumquat dressing. The skin's a little chewy, but you can taste the kumquat citrus taste in it. It's very good. Would be an unusual snack to, for, to bring to a party. Might scare your family. <laughs> oh well. New appliance, new ways to find out how to cook food. So this was cooked and I said left for 15 minutes. We had 16 minutes left. So we, these were cooked in 14 minutes at a, high, a, a heat of 400 degrees. I think to prevent the burning, you would have to reduce the heat and increase the time. But in a conventional oven, it would have taken 45 minutes. Of course, there's not very much to this squash compared to like, for example, the one I showed you earlier, the kombucha, which I'm gonna show you in the oven right now. So make sure you have a oven mitt. Break the entire tray over. And if you can go through like I just did, these are ready. We have 12 minutes left on the timer and I set it for half an hour. So in 20 minutes, Cutting it this way with the kumquat dressing on top, it's perfect. Now why so much squash? Why does this work? But say your days off are Saturday and Sunday. This is the time you want to prep all your food. Pick one day, Saturday or Sunday or whatever day that is, and make your food for the entire week. So I'm going to have kombucha throughout the week. And I'm also going to have delicata. Now there's not very many here. but. The idea is to always incorporate a starch with a vegetable. So my last meal is gonna, all of these squashes are gonna be combined with broccoli. I buy broccoli by bulk, fresh and frozen, so it's always on hand. And that way I have my 50% greens and 50% starch, and I'm on my road to success. I don't add too much salt or seasoning. I enjoy the flavors of each of the meals. In this case, the squashes. This is how I've been able to lose almost 40 pounds. You can do the same thing too, but you have to be strict with yourself. If you go on a deviation day and you eat a chocolate cake, don't punish yourself and mess up your entire diet. The next day, pick it back up, put up with the scale, and go back to eating correctly. By doing this, you will continually lose weight. It took me six months to lose 40 pounds. You can do the same thing too. Thank you very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye bye now. Subscribe to us and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you for watching.